Hello Stacking Ohana, this is Aloha Stacker and welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the 75th anniversary coin from Tuvalu about Iwo Jima. But first, we've just hit 661 subscribers. So can we get to 700 before the end of the end of January? I sure hope so. And please help me do that by subscribing to the channel. Next, I want to talk about the Aloha round. And there they are. There's the Aloha channel round. There's the regular, there's the antique. Now these are available on Silversmith Shield's website and there's only eight left. So please hurry and grab them before they're gone. And once they're gone, I start working on the 2021 edition and you're not gonna wanna miss that because I'm going after, I'm going after that, that man right there, that pirate stacker. He's got the coolest round of 2020. Well, 2021, I'm gonna have the coolest round. So, we'll, so competition, set. Next, I wanna talk about the 500 subscriber giveaway. Now, as you know, last, uh, last video, 1967 Kennedy, 40%er, is now in the is now in the mix. We also have a 1966 Canadian silver dollar with a canoe on the back. We also have a one half ounce Australian tiger shark. We also have a surprise gift from our friend Silver Nitrate. And there that goes. And for the number one prize. We do have the Aloha channel round number three regular. And remember that it'll look like this, except it'll have a number three tapped into it. And in the back, we've got the beautiful hibiscus flowers, state flower of Hawaii. So now that we have a new video, that means we have another, something else to show. And it's going to be this. And this is another, this is a Canadian commemorative silver dollar for Winnipeg, 100th anniversary, Canada dollar. So this is now also in the mix. So we have one. We've got nitrate, we've got Kennedy, we've got Australia, we've got Canada, silver dollar, and we've got the Aloha round. So all this is now in the 500 subscriber giveaway. And we're gonna keep going. Every video, we'll have a new one. There'll be at least probably two or three more videos, maybe more, maybe five or six, I don't know. Let's just keep going until I get to a point where I say, okay, I think we're gonna have at least 10 people win something, minimum, and then we'll be good. So before we get to the main event, I'm going to go talk about a letter I received from our good friend, Miss Southern Bell. And she sent me a whole cadre of stuff. So to Aloha Stacker from Miss Southern Bell, thank you very much in advance. She sent me some Star Wars money, some John Wayne money, some, looks like a... Uh, what is this? The uh, Freemasonry. Yep, Freemason money. So we got Freemason, we got John Wayne, we got Star Wars. This nice, this beautiful card of the Bugs Bunny. And it looks like we got some stickers. One, two, smallers, money stickers, and a cool magnet. So I got another magnet to add to the board. And she wrote, hope you carry the holiday spirit wherever you go. Have a Merry Christmas from Miss Southern Belle. And she's a great supporter of the community. She uh, she goes out there and she does all these shout out videos to help the community out, help out the channels. And oh wait, there's just some more stuff. Look at, she also sent me this pen. Miss Southern Belle, Faith as the Mustard Seed. And then she sent me, let's see what this is. Oh, looks like we got some coins, everyone. Let's take a look, see what we got. We got ourselves a Jefferson Nickel from 2004. Let's go to the back. Oh, that's cool. We got ourselves some money from Albania. This is cool. I don't have any money from Albania, so that's cool. This is a 10 leak. <laughs> or leke? I don't know. A Washington Quarter, a Delta from Denver from the state of North Dakota with the buffalo on it. So they're a bison. That's cool. 2006. Sent me, looks like a, oh, we'll have to open that up in a second. Looks like we got a pin from Australia down under, so that's pretty cool. And let's open this up. Looks like we got a challenge coin. So let's check out this challenge coin. I like challenge coins. I've got well, well over 100 in my military stash. Looks like we're cutting. So it's in this bag. We're going to cut it open, check it out, and take a look at it. Let's see what we got. We've got ourselves. This looks like it says, well, let me see what this says. This says... Police officer, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Looks like it's the police officer's challenge coin. So that is cool. Look at that SWAT. That is neat. Thank you very much, Miss Southern Bell. I really do appreciate that. That is a wonderful, wonderful gift. Same with all the coins, the pins, and 
So let's go ahead and see, we've got one more thing. So let's go ahead and see what this is to cut it. And see, it looks like it's another, some type of pin or button. And it is, it is, it says Somalia NOC Atlanta 1996. And it is a couple drafts. So that's cool, another button, pin, very cool. Thank you very, very much, Miss Southern Bell. You are definitely a valuable member of the community, and we, I definitely appreciate you, and you've done a whole bunch of cool stuff for me. So that's all the mail, channel mail I have today. So we're going to go ahead and talk about Iwo Jima. And, but before I show off the really cool coins that I've got for the 75th anniversary, I want to read a brief history of it that I got from history.com. And I'll put a link in description to where I got this documentation from. The Battle of Iwo Jima was an epic military campaign between U.S. Marines and the Imperial Army of Japan in early 1945. Located 750 miles off the coast of Japan, the island of Iwo Jima had three airfields that could serve as a staging facility for a potential invasion of mainland Japan. American forces invaded the island on February 19, 1945, and the ensuing Battle of Iwo Jima lasted for five weeks in some of the bloodiest fighting of World War II. It's believed that all but 200 or so of the 21,000 Japanese forces on the island were killed, as were almost 7,000 Marines. But once the fighting was over, the strategic value of Iwo Jima was called into question. So what happened before the battle? According to post-war analysis, the Imperial Japanese Navy had been so crippled by earlier World War II clashes in the Pacific that it was, al that it was already unable to defend the Empire's, long, or Empire's island holdings, including the Marshall Archipelago. In addition, Japan's Air Force had lost many of its warplanes, and those it, ha it, and, and those it had were unable to protect the inner line of defenses set up by the Empire's military leaders. This line of defense includes the islands like Iwo Jima. Given this information, American military leaders planned an attack on the island that they believed would last no more than a few days. However, the Japanese had secretly embarked on a new defensive tactic, taking advantage of Iwo Jima's mountainous landscapes and jungles to set up camouflage artillery positions. Although Allied forces, led by Americans, bombarded Iwo Jima with bombs dropped from the sky and heavy gunfire from ships positioned off the coast of the island, the strategy developed by Japanese General Tadamichi Kuribayashi meant that the forces controlling it suffered little damage and were thus ready to repel the initial attack by the U.S. Marines under the command of Holland M. Howland Mad Smith. So now the Marines invade Iwo Jima. On February 19, 1945, U.S. Marines made an amphibious landing on Iwo Jima and were met immediately with unforeseen challenges. First and foremost, the beaches of the island were made up of steep dunes and soft gray volcanic ash, which made getting sturdy footing and passage for the vehicles difficult. As the Marines struggled forward, the Jap Japanese lied in wait. The Americans assumed the pre-attack bombardment had been effective and crippled the enemy's defenses on the island. However, the lack of immediate response was simply part of Curry Biyashi's plan. With the Americans struggling to get a foothold on the beaches of Iwo Jima, literally and figuratively, Curry Biyashi's artillery positions in the mountains opened fire, stalling the advance of the Marines and inflicting significant casualties. Despite a bonze charge by dozens of Japanese soldiers at dusk, as dusk fell, however, the Marines were eventually able to move past the beach and seize part of one of Iwo Jima's airfields, the, start, the stated mission of the invasion. So as the battle rages on, Within days, some 70,000 U.S. Marines landed on Iwo Jima. Although they significantly outnumbered their Japanese enemies on the island by a, by a ratio of more than 3 to 1, many Americans were wounded or killed over the five weeks of fighting, with some estimates suggesting that more than 25,000 casualties, in, including nearly 7,000 deaths. The Japanese, meanwhile, were also suffering major losses and were running low on supplies, namely weapons and food. Under Kuribayashi's leadership, they mounted most of their defenses via attacks under the cover of darkness. Just four days into the fighting, the Marines captured Mount Suribachi, right here. On, so Mount Suribachi was on Iwo Jima's south side, and they famously rose the American flag at the summit. The image was captured by the Associated Press photographer Joe Rosenthal, who won a Pulitzer Surprise, a Pulitzer Surprise for the iconic photograph. However, the fighting was far from over. So now it falls to the American forces. So battles raged on on the northern part of Iwo Jima for four weeks, with Kuribayashi essentially setting up a garrison in the mountains in the part of the island. In the, 
On March 25, 1945, 300 of Kuribayashi's men mounted a final bonsai attack. The American forces sustained a number of casualties, but ultimately quelled the attack. Although the American military declared that Iwo Jima had been captured the next day, American forces spent weeks on end trudging through the island's jungles, finding and killing or capturing Japanese holdouts who refused to surrender and opted to continue fighting. Dozens of Americans were killed during the process. Two Japanese holdouts continued to hide on the island's caves, scavenging food and supplies until they finally surrendered in 1949, almost four years after the end of World War II. That's crazy. That's crazy. In the end, neither the U.S. Army nor the U.S. Navy was able to use Iwo Jima as World War II staging area. Navy Seabees or construction battalions did rebuild the airfields for Air Force pilots to use in case of emergency landings. So, letters from Iwo Jima. Because of the brutality of the fighting and the fact that the battle occurred fairly close to the end of World War II, Iwo Jima and those who lost their lives trying to capture the island retain a great deal of significance even today, decades after the fighting stopped. In 1954, the United States Marine Corps dedicated the Marine Corps War Memorial, also known as Iwo Jima Memorial, near Arlington National Cemetery in Virginia, to honor all Marines. The statue is based on Rosenthal's now famous photograph. Once again, right here. More recently, actor-director Clint Eastwood in 2006 made two movies about the events on Iwo Jima, respectively Flags of Our Fathers and Letters, to I Letters from Iwo Jima. The first depicts the battle from the American side perspective, while the latter shows it from the Japanese perspective. So that was the brief synopsis on Iwo Jima. And now I want to show off the, the 75th anniversary coins that came, that were, that were, looks like they were sponsored by the U.S. Monetary Reserve. One ounce silver coin. So U.S. Money Reserve, in partnership with the Perth Mint of Australia, is honored to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the I Battle of Iwo Jima with a limited edition one ounce struck on four nines fine pure silver. Each coin reverse features a moving rendition of Joe Rosenthal's famous photograph of the six U.S. Marines raising the American flag atop Mount Suribachi on Iwo Jima. The design includes the inscription, Iwo Jima 75th anniversary, year 2020 in Roman numerals dating MMXX and the Perth Mint P mark. The Battle of Iwo Jima 75th Anniversary 1-ounce silver coin is authorized official legal tender and backed for its weight, content, and purity. And here's the technical specs of the coin. So let's go ahead and show you what the coin looks like. This is the front. So we have Queen Elizabeth II, $1, Tuvalu, 2020, 1 ounce, 49 fine, AG, silver. And on the reverse, now these are still in the original uh, tube. So we've got the Iwo Jima 75th Anniversary there's the MMXX that we talked about, the Marines putting the flag up on Mount Suribachi and the P Mint Mark for Perth Mint. And I bought myself a whole tube of these, so I have 20 of these. And sometime early next year, I will probably sell some of these or be willing to trade some of these with, with some of my fellow stackers and collectors as yourselves. So that was the silver one, but I also was able to acquire the gold one. And here's the gold. Now, not much different. Everything is the same as far as the picture goes. The difference is, is that we have some gold instead of some silver, and it's rated at $100. It's a $100 coin as opposed to a $1 coin, which is the silver. So let me go ahead and show you this. So I got myself not just one, but I got two. And here is this beautiful, beautiful coin. So identical to the silver, except this one is in the beautiful yellow, mellow, yellow metal that we call gold. <laughs> and gold, baby, gold. Made in Australia, where our friend Golden Gun is from. And gold, baby, gold. So that is the coin. I got, so I've got two beautiful ounces of gold here. I've got 20 beautiful ounces of silver here. For a very significant battle of World War II. And that's what I got for everybody today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I liked being able to talk about the historical events, especially those with Iwo Jima. I want to thank you all. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the like button. Let's get me let's get me to 700 before the end of January. I appreciate you all. Have a wonderful wonderful day and I'll see you on the next one. Aloha and mahalo.